Hello, and in this video we're just going to get our basic folder structure set up for our Gary's Mod game mode. So first of all, go to garysmod.org and just search for skeleton game mode. You should get this come up, and it's by Gary. And just download the file. You may need to make an account if you haven't already got one on garysmod.org. And it should download a file called skeleton.zip. Now, put this somewhere. I've just got it in game modes folder. And then just extract. For me, it's just right click and then hit extract tool, and that'll extract it all. And then we should have a folder created called skeleton. Now, just rename this to the name of your mod. So, you can call mine my mod. And inside it, we have some folders and a file. We're just going to create a new folder called content, and we'll be using this later. And we're also going to edit this info.txt file. So, game mode. That's fine, that's just saying that it's a game mode, and name is going to be my mod, or whatever the name of your mod is. Version is whatever version number, mine's just one. And this can be your name, and you put your email here, URL here, and all types of other things in these other ones. But for now, I'm just literally going to put in my name and the name of my mod, and the version number. So I just save this and then close it. And then we're just going to go into game mode, and there are three files in here, so just edit them. And there we go, you can edit them just in notepad or any text editor, but I'm editing them in this. And first of all, we are going to find, here it is, it's in shared.lua, which is the stuff that's shared between the client and the server, and just says game mode name, and this is what shows up when people search for your server. So, game mode name, my mod, beta. Obviously, you don't have to add beta on that, it's just because this isn't a completed mod yet, so I decided I would put that on there. Then you can also put in the author, email, website, and whatever else. Sorry, I just put my name in there. So, this shared file is for stuff shared between the client and the server. We also have cl underscore init, which is the client initialize Lua, so basically the client side stuff and then just in it which is for the server side stuff so we have client server and stuff which they both share and that's all in the game mode folder we also have the entities folder and this is just going to basically contain any entities content folder we haven't got anything in yet but we are going to at some point so in the next lesson we're going to be adding some weapons and other things because obviously this is nowhere near complete yet I'm going to be doing some actual lure coding. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.